Dasha Kareka is one of the biggest influencers of trash content in the recent years. And she's kinda hot too. But as we know from Barney Scale, the hotter you are, the crazier you must be. And to my surprise, Dasha Kareka is far beyond crazy. Um, what the sigma? This girl's real name is actually Maxime Matveev. Wait, hold on a second. That's actually named for dudes, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Because she used to be a guy. What? But before Max became Dasha, he was bullied a lot, even by his own parents. Why are you bullying me? People took advantage of him left and right. It wasn't easy for Max. Kinda sad, not gonna lie. But then he find out that he faked his own parents' car crash incident and then cried about it for donations on the stream. Wow, that's messed up actually. It looks like we have another very interesting persona here. So how exactly did Max go from this, whatever that is, to that? How did he get popular? How did people take advantage of him and completely destroy his mental health? But most importantly, how can I fix him? Um, hello? Hello, Master Ugwe. Uh, who the hell is this? I'm your student, Master Ugwe, and I'm seeking for wisdom. Ah, what is it, my student? So I came across this hottie that I want to smash, but there is a problem. She has a p. Well, my student, if she is thick, you shall give it a try. Even if she is a guy. Oh goodness, master, you're so wise. Thank you for your advice. I wish I could suck your c Fantastico! So now before I can invite my future wifey on a date, I must find out everything about her. So my chances of smashing are 100%. The lore begins in a little village called Katovsk, near city called Tambov. The year is 2001. And on the 18th of January, Matveev family is blessed with Maxim. He was a good kid, not a big troublemaker, always quiet in the school. Regular kid. However, that would soon change as his parents found a big interest in a bottle of vodka. That soon became an obsession and it all goes downhill from there. Max becomes a victim of abusive household. And somewhere at this time, Max was either curious as he was a teenager or he just enjoyed dressing up as a girl. He would take his sister clothes and try them on. His parents didn't really give this much attention or were too busy with their alcoholic hobbies. And nobody spoke to Max to help him with finding himself. Fun fact, Max says he wasn't into boys, however. He was still after girls. I I'm not here to say it's not true. Who, who am I? I don't know nothing. But here it is. He would not only dress up as a girl, he would also start leaving his house with makeup on, painted nails, and even wigs. And yes, he wore this to school as well. You living in US, Britain, or Germany, if this person would come to your school, you'd be like, okay, weird, but whatever, not my business. This is Russia. And I'm not talking about Moscow, which is kinda progressive. We're talking about a raw Russian village, where people are still very conservative, and stunts like these are taken as mental disorder. Disclaimer, this was like 2015-ish and was a village. So I'm not saying whole Russia is like this, I'm, I'm talking about this village. Oh, Alright, you get it. Let's move on. And as you get everyone made fun of him. This is when parents got notified about his weird behavior and since Katovsk is a small town where everyone knows each other, parents didn't really want it to be known as those with weird homo kid. They told him to shut this thing down and don't embarrass them. But Max was defending himself by claiming he's just taking a piss and he's just trolling. He might have fooled some people, but as time went by, it was pretty clear that it was not really a joke. He was getting bullied on daily basis and when he got home, he got screamed at from his parents as well. Well, somehow he made it through nine years of school and realized that there is no way he's going to army as he was dressing up as a girl for the last four years just imagine what would happen to him there like th th that would be messed up max decides to follow his brother roman to the city called tambov and becomes his roommate the little he knew that brother would become the reason why he became so famous in the first place but more than that later after he moved to his brother's flat he decided to continue his student as a rail waste man wow i was a tongue twister what the hell if you remember around 2017 oh, yeah. bt was super popular and Max was the biggest fan. And he felt like it's his duty to create a BTS fan page on TikTok. He named it Kareika, which means Korean. That's why his name is Dasha Kareika. Makes sense. And this whole fan page was full of these questionable, I don't know what to call this, dances? Никогда не давайте второго шанса. Пусть ценят нас с первого. Привет! Привет! 
давай познакомимся. Я Даша, я прилетела с Марса, мне 15 лет. Я корейка, и я люблю BTS! BTS! I genuinely don't understand who finds this funny, but I can tell you that when these videos got into hats of people who knew Max, and more importantly his brother, who was certified homophobe, things got even worse. As his bro basically threw him on the street and told everyone in the school what's happening. School became living hell for Max. He couldn't take it no more and just stopped showing up. Instead, he focused on his TikTok production and went full hardcore on it. I have to say that I don't really have anything against against homo people until they make it their whole personality and just push it to my face. At this point of time, we're not talking about Max no more. Max died. We're talking about this alter ego that took completely over this ill kid who's trying to escape this abusive childhood by recording videos of him praising BTS and embarrassing himself in front of thousands of people. Meet Dasha Kareka. Dasha dyed her hair just like Billie Eilish and all her content is just hella cringe. Here we can even see her visiting her grandma. Всем привет, я Даша, я Карейка. Это моя подружка Маша, и мы любим BTS! BTS! За BTS и двор стреляю в упор! Ясно! BTS! Всем привет! Я Даша, я Карейка, и я люблю только BTS! Blackpink, фу! О май гад! BTS! Смотри на меня, старенький мужик, я уверена, что не работает твой мужик. Пацаны, на девятке вы не всегда идете мне, я не поворачиваюсь на ваше ауе. Бедец! However, this dude is another important role in his career. But before I get to that, it's important to mention that another traumatizing thing happened in this period of time. Dasha was actively swiping on some Russian Tinder and got matched with some dude who was 20 years old, skinny, emo, likes anime, basically every Russian girl's dream. They chat for a few days and agree on a meetup. It's a 50-year-old man with a coat and no pants on. Dasha is scared and doesn't know what to do. He takes her to his place and I'll leave the rest to your imagination. This event traumatized her like a lot. After that, she gave up and started to dress like a girl completely. Skirts, stockings. Basically, she was dressing up like a typical Slovakian male citizen. Well, yeah, it gets worse though. His TikTok account reached over 10,000 followers and guy named Hilmi noticed him. If name Hilmi sounds familiar to you, then you might remember I talked about him briefly in this video. Yeah, it's the same dude that poops on the floor in the clothing store, does public scenes and it's just cringe to oblivion. But that's in the future. As for now, Hilmi is kinda normal. Well, the pants if you wanna call someone who leeches to people, blackmails them and then manipulates them to get exactly what he wants, normal, then yeah sure he is normal, but more on that later. He reached out to Koreka when she was still traumatized after that dude from Tinder experience, so it was pretty easy to manipulate her. She told him about her parents, brother, school, and Hilmi suggested that she should move in his apartment in Moscow and be super duper influencers together, as Moscow is the place where you make it big. So she moves to his apartment, and if you thought that Kareka's TikToks were cringe, then wait what happens when you double it, but you are that next person. Alright, if you're still here, then congrats that you made it this far through this jungle full of cringe, but be aware that there is still enough cringe to go through. So here's a anti-cringe mask, put it on, and good luck, soldier. At this moment, Hilmi definitely saved Koreka from some sort of big depression, as it looked like Koreka definitely enjoys Moscow life. Parties, clubs, shopping trips, and all that with her best friend, Hilmi. A part of those cringe TikToks, they also did streams together, where people were making fun of them, insulting them, etc. They just baited and kept on trolling everyone. Overall, they did a lot of content together. Apparently, they also recorded videos that could be posted to Orange Black website, if you know what I mean. But they only mentioned it on some stream. Is there a video or is there not a video? Nobody knows, and I think it's best to keep it that way. As time went by, Koreka grew a big audience as she was new, wild, and very cringe. A lot of Telegram and Russian Facebook groups noticed her and started forcing clips over to their audience. So she experienced 
a huge wave of fame. However, who didn't receive any recognition was Hilmi. While Koreika was enjoying her hype, Hilmi was just sitting there in the darkest moments of his life. A person who you fly to your apartment, feed him, dress him, spend time with him, and spend a lot of money on him, is now getting exactly what she always dreamed of. Yet you were the reason why that happened in the first place. And what's gonna happen next? Maybe Koreika will just leave him, and Hilmi would be used and thrown away. No, that ain't happening, thought Hilmi to himself, and decided to do something horrible. One evening, he messages one of the biggest telegram channels at the time and tells them that he has explicit pictures of his friend Koreika, and he would like to embarrass her to oblivion. They laughed at him and just leaked this convo instead. This just shows how greedy this Hilmi truly is. Sure, you did indeed made her famous, as if you didn't help her in the needed moment, she would probably just be depressed for like a year. And yeah, you might feel used, but you could have just make yourself more entertaining or interesting, as you were literally on almost every single video with Kareka. So the reason why you are not famous is you and nobody else. How does Dasha respond? What does she do? How does she punish Hilmi for this scummy move? She doesn't. Bruh. She cries about it for like half a day and that's it. She just keeps on living with him. Nobody knows what happened behind the curtain, of course, but I definitely wouldn't live with a person if he would throw a leak card at me. That means either he blackmailed her or Kareka is just mentally not ready to make a move. Now let's break Dasha down a little bit. Is she really a freak? On this channel, I covered a couple of them. They either do something disgusting like these individuals or they do something shocking like these two. Dasha isn't doing any of that. She just lacks attention, compensates it with posting cringy questionable stuff online where people comment and like her videos. She probably started this whole BTS girly gauge thing as a joke, but due to this being only hobby she had or only way how to express herself, escape the cruel reality, she became what she made fun of. And it's no longer a persona, it's actually her. However, can he build a whole career on these videos? No. As people will get bored. At this point, Dasha was about to leave the internet. Her views went down, she was depressed again because her only friend betrayed her. Well, but I'm glad she didn't, because otherwise we wouldn't get this. <laughs> But more on that later. Dasha was super desperate for views and attention, yet she wasn't getting any. And then a spark of hope appeared on the horizon. People discovered this girl, Olya Tikva. Well, this video was supposed to be a bait reaction. It's basically just a LGBT feminist propaganda. People made fun of her, some people even hated her. Dasha quickly jumped on a train of hype and started to basically replicate this video for half a year. Imagine same video over and over and over, same format. I'll repeat myself, for half a year. Somehow it worked, I have no idea how, but somehow it did. Then Dasha and Hilmi even met Tikva in real life. I'm super glad she made it through this phase of no views as now we get the golden era of her stream. This is the peak of her career. Get ready for this. Yeah, you know how hard I suffered while I was researching this? Now you're gonna suffer with me. Well, from that we could tell Dash is super emotional. She purposely makes herself look stupid, waits for people to pick up on it, and then cries and just overreacts as hell. This is the exact same thing that Karina Streamersha used to do back in the days, but the difference is that Dasha cries and Karina just screams and rages. Damn, I wish I would be looking at Karina now instead of this demon. 
she does this as she has few YouTube channels where she uploads her top moments. TikTok was a thing, Telegram channels loved her, but the thing is that people with higher IQ than average League of Legends enjoyer didn't really watch her. Her community mostly consisted of TikTok kids. <laughs> And so the memes that this community created are a reflection of that. First, they call her Amobus, which is just funnier, I guess, version of Among Us. This is like 2021, so Among Us was pretty popular. Then they consistently tell her to shave her butt as she's basically still a guy. And she reacts to this every single time. And that's basically all the content. I have no idea how could this thing be entertaining for a year. Funny thing is that our manipulator Hilmi was the genius behind the curtains, who lived rent-free as Koreika made a lot of money, so his initial investment paid off. Kinda sad how in real life bad characters aren't punished, but instead soft boys like Koreika are exploited for money and fame. But I hope that changes with time and Hilmi gets what he deserves. Dasha Koreika was making a lot of money, and despite her childhood was very sad and she couldn't find much support nor attention from her parents, she decided to visit her hometown and surprise her mom with a brand new car she bought to her. I just want to point out how sweet that is, as a lot of people would never talk to her parents again after what they did to her. She then records a couple of videos with her family and it looks like everything is great. Dash is now famous, her parents are giving her attention, she has friends, but what looked like a dream would soon be crushed and Dasha would experience the great fall from which she will never recover. These videos were recorded while Dasha's father was not in town, but when he came back after a few days and he saw his son, he was speechless and devastated. A heated argument started in which father almost got violent, but at the end of the day he only broke Dasha's Among Us nail. <laughs> After this incident, father leaves the family as a whole and marries another woman. And that would just be beginning of Dasha's nightmare. Because when she gets back to Moscow, she meets allegations of messaging and sending NSFW pictures to underage kids. She says it's not true, people say it is, but there was no actual proof, just pictures that could be easily photoshopped. So we will never know if it's true or not, yet it did damage her career big time. Because then something just flipped in Dasha's brain and she decided to ruin her career completely. Like a week after these allegations, she turns on the stream and just cries. People ask her what happened and she answers that her parents got into car crash. She shows audience these photos and makes like 5k bucks from the stream, which is actually insane amount of money for Dasha. But soon people find out that these same pictures she showed were photos of completely different car crash that happened like two weeks ago. Dasha sure gets heat, but not enough heat as couple of days after she says she was drafted to army. Well, nobody believed her this time and it was soon confirmed confirmed that it's really a fake, as Dasha has two fingers on her leg that grew together and due to that her drafting wouldn't be possible. We don't hear from Dasha for some time as her manager probably realized she's kinda insane. She doesn't stream for a while, but she went to an interview with Hilmi. And when you watch it, you can see that when Dasha is asked anything, Hilmi just interrupts and answers instead of her. Dasha is just sitting there and is very uncomfy and shy. Hilmi was probably so scared that Dasha would say something that would have shown Hilmi me in a bad light that he didn't let her finish a single sentence. She also appears on Mel's story streams a couple of times. Same thing, she's awkward, like she's chained or something. Well, you might say she's scared, new people, yada yada, okay, but then what is this? This is a little interview from a few years ago and we can see that Dash is full of life and she enjoys the publicity. So we can clearly see that Hilmi has a huge influence at all this and Koreka is just too scared to do whatever. It's funny to see how different people are on the internet and in real life. Well, and at some point Koreka seemed to just have 
have enough of all this. And she said she wants to become a girl. Hey, change teams. Cut the willy. You, you know what I mean. She says therapists approved it and now she can undergo a surgery. She got a lot of implants. Her whole face structure changed. Yada, yada. And all that was streamed by Hail Me. Well, <laughs> surprise, surprise. This guy just milks whatever he can. After a couple of surgeries, Soreika is just new person. <laughs> It's almost like she was never a dude. It's insane what doctors can do nowadays. And you don't even need to fly to Turkey. Korika does a couple of streams, does some content online. <laughs> But people are just too fed up with her. After all these lies and all baiting for donations, cringe videos, people just moved on. And to be honest, I think that's for the best. If people are not interested in Koreika, then Hilmi maybe will just flip off and find another milking cow. As Koreika seems to not be strong enough to just say no to Hilmi. So Koreika finds a new boyfriend, gets exploited for money and gets nothing in return. This goes on for a year. It looks like even if you change teams, people will still take advantage of you because you are just desperate for attention. Which we can easily see because the amount of guys she hangs out with recently is bigger than Logan Paul's girlfriend body count. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Recently, I haven't heard of Koreika that much a part of her twerking on camera and that she has OnlyFans. Not that I was looking for it for, for like two weeks, but I didn't find it. But that just indicates that she's lost and she has nothing else to do. Therefore, she has plenty of time for a potential date. So I hit her up on Instagram and let's hope I will get some action tonight. As for Hilmi, this dude is just a human leech. He finds his prey, manipulates it, tries to milk it as much as possible, and he was put to prison recently for his freaky content. Sounds like happy ending to me. And that's the end of the story. Discord and Patreon down below. Bye bye. What? No, dude!